On Tuesday, May 22, Manila time, LeBron James just added another personal milestone to a very long list of achievements. With 3.07 left in the second quarter of Game 4 between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Boston Celtics, James calmly sank a mid-range jumper to surpass Hall of Famer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the NBA all-time playoff field goals leader. Those points would be his 20th out of an eventual 44-point eruption, helping the Cavs edge out the Celtics, 111-102. When asked about the accolade, James took a long pause to collect his thoughts. Anytime I'm in the same breath with the greats, you guys know I say it over and over, it's just humbling, the 33 year old said in the post game presser. I think it's pretty cool for a kid who doesn't really care about scoring. While James only broke Abdul Jabber's playoff field goal record today. He has long surpassed the skyhook master and his fellow Hall of Famer Michael Jordan in points, primarily due to their different play styles and the emergence of the three-point shot. James, now at 66-24 points, currently leads all-time playoff points by a wide margin, followed by Jordan, 59-87, and Abdul Jabber, 57-62. San Antonio's Tony Parker is the next closest active player in that category, with 40-45. More importantly, James successfully led Cleveland in protecting home court as the two teams now go back to Boston for Game 5 tied at 2-2.